Do you want to be more productive at work or while working remotely? The state of productivity in the workplace is all over the place right now. According to a recent Bureau of Labor Statistics report for Q2 of 2022, business labor productivity as a whole is down 4.6% from last quarter. Companies and entrepreneurs alike have struggled with how to assess productivity in a hybrid workplace. But with more people than ever working remotely or working for themselves, it can be hard to manage schedules and get everything done. In this video, we're going to explain, one, some productivity best practices from the business world's top executives, two, how those best practices can be added into your personal productivity toolkits, and three, how you can download and customize this to-do list spreadsheet template we created to help. If you want to skip straight to the spreadsheet explainer, you can do so now. All right, so how do you manage productivity, whether working remotely or working for yourself? Former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey maps out his week around routines, with each day dedicated to a different task. Even if you have multiple tasks that need to be accomplished, this maximizes flow state so that tasks are categorized and grouped into subtasks and not interrupted. More on how to do this later. Elon Musk famously avoids meetings and suggests even to walk out if they aren't valuable. Now, that doesn't mean he doesn't believe in communication. He says people work best when they know what the goal is and why. This is called prioritization, another key hack to be productive. Steve Jobs recommends to say no to the hundred other good ideas in favor of the best idea. Warren Buffett adds really successful people say no to almost everything, except maybe like work, because that's kind of important to be productive. Buffett actually has a trick called the two list framework. He recommends you write down your 25 top goals, then circle your five highest priorities and avoid the other 20 at all costs. Now that you have your to-do list, it's time to start your work. Instagram co-founder Kevin Systrom says to start whatever it is you need to do for at least five minutes. If you can work on it for five minutes and get through that, you'll probably finish it. Beyond that, science shows that regular exercise, getting enough sleep, listening to music without lyrics while you work, and taking enough breaks will help you be more efficient overall. So how can you take all of that great advice and apply it to your work? You need a to-do list that works for you. Our to-do list spreadsheet provides a series of to-do lists with dashboards that you can download and customize for any business or personal need. Whether you want to manage projects across weekly, monthly, or subtask views, or manage your personal to-dos by type, status, and due date, this template has easy-to-use lists for you. You can even track the progress of each individual task with the status to-do list. And since the most important element of any to-do list is to prioritize, our to-do list template provides specific visualizations divided up by priority. Plus, if all you need is a daily task tracker, our daily log list accumulates your progress towards daily, weekly, or monthly frequency goals. The most important task for any to-do list is to help manage your time as efficiently as possible. This weekly to-do list allows you to budget a whole week's worth of tasks across multiple teams and responsible roles and track the estimated hours assigned for each task against the actual hours it takes to complete. For a full month's view, the same visualization is broken up across the weeks of a month. More rows can be added to accommodate a whole week's worth of tasks. The dashboard at the top tracks estimated cost in hours versus actual cost in hours across each task. It also allows the project manager to track tasks, departments, and roles by their status. The PM can then track how many tasks are completed in progress or not started by a specific date range to determine if the project is on schedule or not. If more tasks are behind schedule than not, this dashboard will inform the project which tasks and team members need the most support to get back on schedule. Now, let's say your project manager wants to manage multiple projects with this to-do list. The project to-do list can track a series of sub-projects as part of the overarching project here. This dashboard works the same as the weekly and monthly to-do lists, with one exception. 
The project manager can break up each subproject out across a series of metrics to evaluate how each project compares to one another. Since it's helpful to break complicated tasks into simpler subtasks, this to-do list is useful for both managing large teams and managing long-term assignments. Because let's face it, some projects are a serious commitment. We're talking lifelong commitment. Like put a ring on the finger Beyonce style commitment. Now, what if you want to manage your personal to-dos or one-off tasks? A simple to-do list allows you to add your to-dos, their due date, and their priority. When a task is completed, simply check it off. If new tasks are added that are more important, simply drag them to the top of the list. The dashboard at the top visualizes completed and non-completed tasks by their priority level as well as by their due date. As tasks are checked off, the dashboard updates accordingly, giving you relief that your tasks are on target and not piling up. For more complicated tasks that take time to complete, use the status to-do list and update the completion bar as progress is made. The total percent complete chart tallies the total percentage towards completion of all the tasks. So as progress is made across multiple to-dos, it's visually represented even if tasks aren't finished outright. Lastly, a daily to-do list logs each occurrence of an activity you want to accomplish each day, each week, or each month based on the frequency column. As more activities are logged, the accumulated progress grows and changes colors so you can see your progress towards your goals increase over time. Because prioritization is the most important factor between you and your goals, each to-do list and dashboard in this spreadsheet accounts for priority in some way. However, if you truly want to prioritize, the priority to-do list breaks tasks out in a visually simple way, so your high priority tasks come first, followed by your medium and then lower priority tasks. This helps accomplish Warren Buffett's 525 method. Write your top five in the high priority section and then just delete the rest of the to-do list. When it comes to today's difficult to navigate work-life balance, you need to-do lists that work for you instead of work against you. With them, you can get more done and then better manage your teams, stress levels, and overall mental health. You can download and customize this to-do list spreadsheet to save time and hours of work just simply by doing that. For the top strategies to navigate and balance all of the competing priorities of life, check out our summary video of the book, How Will You Measure Your Life by Clayton Christensen. Thanks for watching.